Today is not an easy day. Lost a friend yesterday. Early 30s. Cancer. Diagnosed in January. It's only the first week of September. Come on, man. This is the uh, new MacBook Pro 2019 that I got a couple of weeks ago. And I gotta be honest, man, this thing is faster than my desktop computer here in the studio. So I can actually get my work done on the fly anywhere with this laptop. And that makes me very happy. Window tidy enabled. What it does is it allows me to create sections of the computer that I want a window to snap to. So depending on the kind of program that's open, I can change the window. Meaning when you drag and you start to drag, you see all these things right here in the middle? See all the guys in the middle? These things are created. So if I wanted to go full screen, I go there. Now I can drag it. Maybe I just want to go top left. See, top right, top left. Boom, it's left. I can take this, come all the way down here to the right. And you may think, ah, oh, what's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal when you have multiple windows open. And let's say you have... You know, like you're you're used to seeing everything a certain way. This leaves me room around a screen. So you know how you have a window open where you have to like drop and drag something onto the screen and it's a pain in the booty to figure that out? Well now all I gotta do is that and it's there. I go drag in this guy. I go top right, see bottom right. Boom. It goes to where I want to, where the windows are. Pretty cool, huh? Anything that helps my workflow is worth a couple of dollars, and I think that's all this program was, was a couple of dollars. <laughs> so I have a friend stopping by. This is her now, actually. <laughs> that's me. Huh? That's you. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so look, after Ronnie left, I had a wedding appointment coming in the door right after she walked out and I, I love the whole experience of a wedding from the beginning to the end you know it's such a big process and making it fun for my clients is just part of the addiction of doing weddings because if you don't love working weddings you can't do weddings for 20 plus years man because they are it's a lot it's a lot to do for a wedding I just, I don't know man, I like that pressure I guess, I like the, the stress part of it that you have to get so much done in this amount of time frame and create as you go. I just dig that, you know? So they left, they should book, and now I'm working on an ad for the fall. So we have Christmas and we have fall portraits coming up. And look how, look how cute these little dudes are, man. Come on, that is just so cute. So that is happening right now. And I have another wedding client coming in in the next 25 minutes. So I have another 10 minutes to work on this ad and then I need to go um, freshen up a little bit before I hug my clients, hello, and we chit chat about their wedding coming up. It's so cool, man. The uh, father of the bride will be here as well. And uh, he was my UPS driver at one point in time. So how cool is that, you know? You leave impressions on every single person you come in contact with. And you never, ever, ever know when that next door is going to open. And more importantly, who's going to be opening it for you? Interesting, huh? I know that's, that's a deep analogy, but you know where I'm going with this, right? I hope you do by now. <laughs> You know how they say you eat with your eyes, so when you look at a really good looking menu, the chances on those items selling easier go up? Well, the same kind of thing goes when you go to visit somebody. When you go to sell a house, you want cookies baking in the background so it smells like home. I know, it's not that it's trickery, it just 
helps you set the tone for what you're trying to deliver to the person that's coming to see you. Well, here at the studio is no different. You know the little um, scented wax candle thingies? You know what I'm talking about? That's going to smell really good in a few minutes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come on in, come on in, come on in. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Come here, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, so cute, yeah. Come here, buddy. How you doing? You doing good? I know, man. It's oh, so yeah. hot, dude. That was ridiculous. Guys, at least he's not working in it. Hey, real quick. Can somebody answer this for me? When you do a live stream, does that time go towards your watch hours or just on posted videos? I don't know. I could YouTube it, but I, I, I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> All right, so look, I know this may be the absolute lamest vlog I have done in a long time, but you know, when life gets in the way sometimes, how do you handle this? You know, we're all human, emotions are real, Friends are real, family is real, and when you lose one of them way too early, how are we supposed to react? You know what I mean? I, his name was Lee Lopez. 32, 33 years old, I mean he was in his early 30s, man. He's just a good guy, he was a very good artist, and he was just one of those people that you wanted to be around. Cancer it, cancer is ridiculous, dude. And chemotherapy is barbaric. Yeah. I'll see you next time, okay?